Hello, and welcome to my corner of the internet. If you're new here, my name is Christina, and I do a lot of fashion and beauty type um, haul videos and thrifting videos, thrift with me's, and that kind of thing. So if that is your jam, then hit subscribe and like and comment on this video down below. So it's been a really long time time since I filmed a video and it's just because it's been very crazy over here in the world of Christina. I'm trying a new background so let me know what you think of this filming spot. I haven't quite decided where I want to film um, or if this is the best spot to film but this area seemed to be getting pretty good light so I decided to do it here. Um, my hair is a little wet because I just took a shower not too long ago, so excuse that. Um, and we are just gonna jump right in to another haul video. This one is a Forever 21 video, and I went to Forever 21 about a week or so ago because they're going out of business, which is so sad. I feel like all of my favorite stores are going out of business at around the same time, and it's really weird. Because Charming Charlie's went out of business not too long ago, and now Forever 21 seems to be going out of business. I don't know if they're closing all of their stores, but the store in my little small town in Texas has closed, or is closing. Um, I don't know that they've officially closed yet. Um, but they are in the process of closing. And so I went in there to buy a couple of things to get my Forever 21 fix before they're gone. So, I am here with my haul that I'm going to show you, but before we get into that, I just wanted to tell you where I got this sweatshirt. I got this recently off of Depop. I don't think I've shown you all this one yet. This one's been a fairly recent purchase. It's like this mint bluish green color, and then it's got this beautiful little embroidered, uh, like hot air balloon going on and I think that it's homemade I think someone actually like made this and I I just love these types of pieces because it's pastel which is kind of my vibe and also because it looks like someone actually took the time to really like put some love and effort into it it's not just like something you could find anywhere it's probably something that someone's grandmother or mom or someone made for them, which makes it feel extra special. All right, so let's get into this haul. I am very excited about the pieces that I got. And I got some pieces for people's Christmas gifts, which I'm not going to show in this video, just in case they happen to stumble across this video. All right, so the first item that I got, and probably my favorite item in this entire haul, we're just going to start off with my favorite one. Is this this is a beautiful blouse and it describes itself on the tag as being a, like a blush color but to me I feel like it's more of a um, neutral kind of skin tone or at least my skin tone kind of color and then it's got this little Peter Pan collar with little ruffles on the edges it's got a couple of loose threads, but nothing that I can't, like, take off easily. And then it's got these little pearls. They're not actual buttons, which is the only thing that kind of disappoints me, is that you can't actually unbutton it. It does unbutton in the back. So there's a little pearl clasp in the back. But these front ones do not come undone. Which is a little bit disappointing and then I don't know if you can see the sleeves the sleeves have a little pearl button on them and one of my favorite parts of these are the shoulders the shoulders have like a little bit of a, a little bit of volume to them but not like so much that you look like you're wearing shoulder pads <clears throat> excuse me 
yeah, it's not like a lot of volume. It's just a little bit of volume. It's very feminine. I feel like I can put this under a skirt or I can wear it with pants and I can wear it done in different ways, wear it to work. So there you go. And this one was originally $22. And I believe that I got that for much less than that. Let me go check the receipt so I can give you the exact prices. So this top was originally $22 and I got it for $8.72. Yeah, this is my entire receipt if that tells you how crazy I went for between what. Uh, so let's see. Then the next item that I got is this, and I think this is going to be really, really cute. I've already tried on all of these items just to make sure that they fit and everything, and there were a couple of items that I was disappointed in that I will probably post on my Poshmark or Depop down below since everything is final sale, and I didn't try on stuff when I went shopping, so some stuff didn't work out, so I will be posting that, and you can take a look at my Poshmark and Depop in case you're interested in any of this stuff that I'm not keeping. The first shirt I'm definitely keeping. This I'm definitely keeping. So this is, let's figure out where to hold it up. This is a little mock neck faux corduroy baby pink kind of cropped top. It's not super cropped. It's just a little bit cropped, but I love how soft it is. I don't know if you can tell just by looking at it on the camera. The kind of material that it's made out of but it's this beautiful pastel pink and it's super soft and cozy and I think it'll look really great tucked into um, a pair of high-waisted jeans or maybe with high-waisted shorts or maybe with a skirt so I think this will be really versatile it kind of reminds me of the um, velvet princess top from lazy oaf if you know what I'm talking about. Um, but this one was much, much cheaper. So let me see if I can find out how much that one was. Okay, that one was also $8.72. So that one was a really good deal. It was originally like $12. And I think I'm going to get a lot of wear out of that one. Now this one I got on a different day, so it's not on the receipt, so I can't actually tell you how much I spent on this one. This one was in the clearance area, so I'm pretty sure I didn't pay a lot for it. But this one I will probably be posting on my Poshmark or Depop because this one didn't work out well for me. So it's just a little tank top and it's got like pastel rainbow knit. It's the most beautiful knit, like really beautiful. But the only issue was I figured since this part, the little straps were so small that I would want to go up a size. And I'm kind of in between sizes when it comes to Forever 21. So it's kind of tricky for me to figure out what my size is. So I thought that maybe a large would fit me best, but it doesn't at all. This part is quite small on me, but then this part, the actual like arm area is huge. And I'm not really sure how to style it just because the sides, I don't know if you can tell just by looking at it, but they're just so deep. Like, like you can't really wear a bra under it, or I guess you could wear a bralette underneath it. I don't know. If I can't figure out how to style it, which I've tried styling it with a couple of things. I've tried putting a bralette under. I've tried putting things underneath it. Like, I've tried putting, like, a turtleneck underneath because I thought that would be cute. And it just looks weird. It just doesn't sit right on me. So... 
this might be going up on my Depop or Poshmark or both. So it's just like a little cropped tank top situation. And it's beautiful. I really wish it would fit me because those colors are just amazing. And it's a very soft, thick knit with a ton of stretch. So it's really cute. It just doesn't really work on my body type. And that might just be me because I don't really have much shoulders. So it might just be better for someone who has um, broader shoulders than me and maybe for someone um, who's a little bit bigger on top than me. So anyway, so that was the first kind of disappointing purchase. The second disappointing purchase was this dress. I wanted this dress so badly when it first came out at Forever 21 and it was pretty expensive-ish. I mean, not super expensive, like $20 or something, but I really wanted it and then it went in the clearance section so I grabbed it and I didn't try it on because I just assumed by the way that it looked on the hanger that it would look good on me and I shouldn't have done that. I should have taken my time and tried it on, but anyway, it's this purple dress and it's got these little ruffly sleeves and this very stretchy material. I'm not even sure what you call that. It's like those little tube tops or shirts from like the 90s or early 2000s. And it's got this beautiful like daisy print. You can see it better on the bottom. But it's just like this beautiful pastel lilac purple. And I'm not sure if it's supposed to be off the shoulder or if it's supposed to be on the shoulder. I don't know. Either way, it looks kind of strange on me. I think I should have sized up in it because this area is a little snug. Otherwise, if it's okay, I'm not sure. I'm still trying to figure out if I should try to style it differently. Like maybe if I put a a little white tank or a t-shirt underneath it, it would look cuter. But I feel like the sleeves look awkward on me because the sleeves are a little small even though they're stretchy. Like they're a little snug on me. And it's, I don't know. It's stretchy. It's just not quite right. Like it looks like it's stretched to the max when it's on me. And I'm not not thrilled with it. So it might be better for someone who's a little bit smaller. So, and this is in a size small, just in case you were wondering. And it was about $15. Let's see how much I paid for it. It was in the clearance. So yeah, it was $6. It was 50% off. So it's really cute. It might be up on my Poshmark and Depop soon. So keep an eye out for that. Then I got some jewelry. I got these hoop earrings that are like a pastel purple and pink because I thought they would go really well with the dress. But I may not be keeping the dress, but I will definitely keep the earrings because they're cute and I don't have a whole lot of hoops. So I kind of wanted to get a couple of things and Forever 21 is kind of my go-to for cheap earrings and now my go-to for cheap earrings is going out of business. So I had to grab a couple before they went completely out um, and I've been wanting these for a while. I think they're just really, really beautiful, stunning. They kind of have this marbled effect. And they're very lightweight, like they're not heavy at all, because I don't really like heavy earrings. So let's see how much those were. Those were four dollars. So I think they were originally seven dollars, and I got them for four dollars. Not bad. Then I got another pair of earrings, and these were a steal. I don't know why they didn't mark them, 
because they're not marked as being on sale at all. But they're these little watermelon earrings and they are so precious. But they were on sale for 61 cents. 61 cents and they weren't marked at all. So I just randomly picked them because they were cute and thought that they were going to be like four dollars like the other ones and they're not. So you might want to grab some stuff and check with the cashier to find out how much they actually are because they don't mark their stuff very well. Wonder why they're going out of business. Anyway, so that's those. I don't really have anything that matches necessarily, but I think that they'll be really cute for the summer and I'm sure that I can find something that will go with them. And then, last but not least, I did get a ton of socks. Actually, not last but not least. I actually have two other things that I completely forgot about. But we'll talk about socks first. Because I love Forever 21 socks. Like, they're my favorite. And I'm really disappointed that I'm not going to be able to get their socks anymore. Their novelty socks are just so cute. I got these little ice cream ones. Actually, they had like um, a four pack one with different um, desserts on it. And some of them are in the wash, so I can't show you all of them. And some of them I got for people as gifts, so you can't see all of them. Sorry. But just look how cute those are. Little ice cream socks. And then cupcake socks. They're very cute. They're very comfortable. And then I also got socks with little macaroons on them. I got a lot of dessert socks. I also got a pair of socks um, that I can't find anywhere. I don't know what I've done with them because I don't think I've worn them yet. Um, but they're ramen socks and they have a little cute little pun on them and I'll just put a picture of them right here so you can see them but yeah I don't know where they are and the different socks were either a dollar fifty two each or thirty nine cents each depending on the pattern which to me didn't really make sense that some of the socks were cheaper than others, even though they were the same quantity, like it would be one pair of socks for a dollar fifty-two, and then another pair of socks that's kind of similar but different colors was 39 cents. Doesn't really make sense to me, but whatever. Um, and then the set that I got that had a bunch of different socks all together was five dollars and fifty-two cents. And then I got two beauty items. And then I think that's it. So I'll show you the two beauty items real quick. I lied, I got one more clothing piece. So I'll show you the clothing piece and then I'll show you the beauty products. So this clothing item I've already worn, which is why I didn't realize that it wasn't with all the other stuff. But it is this little pink ringer t-shirt that says Troublemaker on it. And it is from the Forever 21 Girls Department. Yes, I shop in the children's department occasionally. But I just loved the embroidery on this and the colors. I don't know why, but it just stood out to me and I really, really wanted it. And it was like, I think it was $9 and then marked down to $4. So I got that. And then I also got two beauty products. This first one is a setting spray and it also works as a fix plus kind of spray where you can spray it on your beauty brushes and it supposedly picks up pigment easier. Um, but what I will say is it does work. It does work well. It sets my makeup well and it helps me apply my makeup easier. The only thing that I don't like about it is the smell, which is kind of a like 
not really a huge deal, but it doesn't smell good. <laughs> and most setting sprays, I feel like, have some sort of scent, so they smell pleasant when you put them on your face, but this one, this one smells like, kind of like a plastic, chemically smell, which is not, not great. But anyway, so I got this. And I believe it was pretty inexpensive. Let me check. Yeah, it was $3. So it's not bad for a $3 setting spray, but I wouldn't necessarily recommend it. So there you go. And then I also got a rainbow highlighter because I've been wanting one for a really long time and I wanted to try it out. Um, and it's very pretty. I actually kind of ruined it. So... When I tried to open it, because the container was so tricky to open that I actually like stabbed it with my finger. So there's some damage done to it and I've used it. So it's not in perfect condition, but you can kind of see it's shiny. It's got the different colors. I'm actually wearing it on my eyes right now. I don't know if you can see it, but I'm wearing it on my eyes because I find that the blue is really pigmented. So when you put it on like where you would normally put highlight, you're gonna end up with like shiny, really pretty, and then all of a sudden blue. <laughs> like, I mean, I can kind of swatch it for you so you can see, but that's what it looks like. And it's very pretty. But when you put it on, it's like shiny, pretty. Then you'll end up with a little bit of blue. Actually, that time it worked out fine. But like the blue is extremely pigmented. So if you put the blue on there, it's really going to show up. So you have to be kind of careful. But overall, I really like it. And considering it was... Let's see. It's going to be the last thing on this list. Probably $4. Considering it was $4, pretty good deal. So that is my Forever 21 haul, and I will be posting a thrift haul very, very soon. I know I've been saying that for a while, but I really will because I am working on editing. Editing is my least favorite part of this whole YouTube process, so I'm still working on it. Um, and I also have some other haul videos coming up very, very soon. So I will see you in the next video. Bye!